This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Fabulous, fabulous, uh, let's see, Wednesday is this? This is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yes, it is. I know it is. Okay. Uh, boy. Mm. So, uh, let's see here. It's time, I guess, uh, to uh, go out to uh, California and uh, join a, uh, an individual who uh, hasn't got his light on because his face is all orange, it looks like here. Let me see. Oh. I'll let you see how orange it looks. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't look orange anymore. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Why isn't the... Why Why don't I have your picture? Oh. Window capture. Oh, my face pan. broke the camera. Oh, let's see here. Oh, let me see here. What is this? This is Zoom meeting. Yeah. Okay. Let me see here. Let me go to a Zoom... Uh, participants and then let me go back to zoom meeting and see if it comes up there we go okay we had we had a we had a little problem there you know all right yeah yeah it always happens one thing after another you know so, well good evening how are, how are you doing i'm doing just fine i'm having a a good week. I feel good mm -hmm. i'm one pound away from my first uh major weight goal yeah mm -hmm. 201 this morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh my goal is my first goal is to get under one under 200 yeah and uh then i'll make a new goal <laughs> so yeah well that's good that's very good uh yeah of course i'm i weigh more than you do but then again i'm taller than you are yeah i'm i'm, a, I'm five eight yeah well yeah i'm i'm six so yeah and yeah. uh you know four inches uh means a lot you know as far as uh uh being able to distribute the weight uh yeah. well anyway but anyway so i uh i am uh um uh, today boy man i can't walk i can't walk i'm losing my ability to walk took a walk uh, today i thought i was gonna struggle all my way back and forth not it's not that i can't do it i can't breathe but my ankles are killing me all kinds of things just, you know. Uh, are you getting arthritis? I don't know what I'm getting. I'm getting old is what this is. And I don't like it. It's not any fun. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I know that you're not much for advice or taking, uh, you know, wh what I do seriously. But I have been making a transformation in my ability to walk and balance because of the exercise that I've been doing, as well as the rolfing, which is extremely painful. But what it does is it stretches uh, your muscles and tendons and so forth, so that uh, you uh, you're you're able to walk with a, a good gait rather than shuffle. Yeah, but and, you know, I'm, I'm what I'm getting is some it's something else. It has to do with the neuropathy, I think, more than yeah. anything else. But I I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'm gonna see. Uh, just, you know, it just doesn't make me feel good. You know? Yeah, I, I understand. I've been having some knee pain lately mm -hmm. uh, with one of my tendons, and I'm sure it's because I did something wrong. So I bought, and they're on their way to me, these things called ghost sleeves, which is a kineology, kine, uh, kin, well, whatever it is. You put it on you, over you your buy, knee. You buy you into put, all this holistic shit, don't you? I live in California. You know, I mean, we got sprouts, uh, you know. You know the one thing you have in California that should not be allowed anywhere? Pineapple what? pizzas. Oh, yeah, absolutely the worst. Anybody who eats a pineapple pizza should be shot on sight. Yeah, they okay, call that with, the Hawaiian with, pizza. Do they call it Hawaiian pizza? Yeah. That's why yeah. I don't like Hawaii. They also call the ukulele an instrument. Well, when I ate pizza, and I'm done with pizza, yeah. uh, I, I liked clam and garlic. That's that, good. 
That's good. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I'm. I'm. I'm basically. Let's see. Pizza. I like. Uh, um, not pepperoni. What do I like on there? I like uh, uh, not not salami. Um, Sauce. I can't remember now. If I went in to get a pizza, I wouldn't know what to get. Uh, well, New York, you you live in the pizza mecca. Mm-hmm. Um, it is. They have the well, best. I know what I like is, is sausage. On my yeah. Pizza. Sausage and mushroom. I'm I'm to the point now that I like plain. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna have. Really. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like plain. I like thin. Uh, I I I like the oil to drain off. I like mushrooms. I like onions. Uh, uh, onions and and uh, um, uh, and hamburger. Wow. So, sausage. Sausage. So you like the all meat? Yeah. Why not? And with some onions. Meat's damn good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, they say I agree. they say it's going to kill you, but you know a lot of other things are going to get me at this age. So you know, yeah. I may as well go out on my way eating good stuff because it's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, talk, talking about paying for pizza, uh, I guess the a lot of people that bought crypto. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do I, anybody who bought some crypto, if you need a little loan, maybe I can throw you a couple of dollars. You know, I I I had no understanding of Me what neither. crypto was. Me neither. And uh, so, you know, like Warren Buffett says, you you invest in in companies that produce something, and that uh, uh, that you like. Yeah. And uh, and you would buy their their products and services. Yeah. And uh, you know, with crypto, it just felt like uh, a pyramid screen, a scheme. Uh, you know, uh, and and uh, you know the, this uh, FTX exchange. Right. Guy, the guy was what worth forty billion dollars, or do you know who uh, did commercials for them? Uh, no, who? Larry David. Really? Do you remember at the at the on the um, what do you call it the at the Super Bowl? The yeah. ad with Larry David, where they're trying to sell him crypto, and he goes, "You know, I no, I like this. I invested in uh, this and that, and so on and so forth." And it's it's just it was a very funny ad, but that oh, was for Larry F- David. This was for FTX. Wow! So I uh, think he got some. He got paid in crypto for that, and now <laughs> now he finds out he, a bank. he found out he worked for nothing. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I guess uh, this guy uh, is uh, going to get extradited. Uh, wasn't he living in his parents' basement before he listen, uh, came listen, up with this? I never understood crypto, and I when I would ask people, okay, so you can you hand me some crypto, hand me a crypto coin? Yeah. No, no, it's all it's all a digital currency. It's it's uh, yeah. I don't. And I don't you know, understand and I'm what going, I'm mining going, is. Yeah, I mean, I mine it, for it, crypto. To me, I mean, I, I'm an old guy. Okay, so I I guess I I can be. Uh, told that I'm an old guy and I don't understand it and all of that. But all I know is in the old days I worked, and then they put some dollars in my hand, well, you know, and those dollars could be spent somewhere. Well, it was also the basis for it. It was traded on the dark web originally, mm-hmm. and uh, people were using it for nefarious reasons. They were buying drugs and they were paying one another with this. But uh, I guess what happened is that people left these this crypto in these exchanges, thinking they were like banks. But I guess uh, uh, the bank got the piggy bank got raided uh, by this guy with a funny name and uh, and crazy hair. Mm-hmm. But uh, the piggy bank got raided. You know, he donated I don't know forty was it forty million dollars to the Democratic Party. Yeah. Uh, uh, f- for that campaign, you know, where does this money come from? I guess you know, maybe he bought crypto and it went up in value. And well, look, look, I, I you know, I'm not going to argue with somebody that says, "Oh, we should come up with a better system than we've got now." You know, this is all based on silver. I mean, you know, come on, it was ba- it used to be based on silver, right? And gold or gold or gold, and it isn't any longer. But we still use the same money. You mm-hmm. know, and it doesn't have any real worth. There's no, you know, you, all, all I know is I can spend it. I've got, you know, in my pocket in the other pants, $100 worth of $20 bills, and I know I can use those and get stuff for them. I want to know with this virtual 
where I can get stuff for. Can I go to my local grocery store and use crypto? No. Do you remember that Tesla was taking crypto in payment for their cars? Yeah, well, well M- Musk is very big on crypto. Yeah. I mean, he might not yeah. be today. I think he's worth $225 billion, and now he's worth about $220. <laughs> $220 or $220 billion. $220. Yeah, well, I, I don't think we'll have to be uh, uh, putting on a benefit to make sure that he gets three square meals a day. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Uh, he's, getting out of, uh, he's getting out of Twitter. I mean, he's not, he's not giving up Twitter. He's going to yeah. assign somebody to be the CEO. And take well, that makes it. sense. Yeah. I don't think the guy has time. He's working 24 hours a he's day. He's got all this stuff going that I would rather he... Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't see Twitter as something that's going to change the world. It's going to change the planet. But I do see that something like the electric car and uh, rocket ships are going to. Uh, he just won a uh, thing from NASA for the next uh, uh, SpaceX uh, uh, thing is going uh, is going to be uh, another was it another trip to the moon or uh, what? he had just won one and a half billion dollars. Yeah. We uh, are we, we are going to be on the moon. We shot up our rocket today. Finally, it went up. Yeah, Artemis, Arte- right? Artemis, and I hope they have cameras on there so we can see the moon when they get there. If they don't have cameras doing that, I want my money back. You know, but um, uh, they, uh, uh, you know, they're gonna they're going around the moon, and then on in 2025, and I hope I live that long. You think I'll live mm-hmm. that long? Well, you know, I I I, I think about. Uh, life and I think about time and that's the only commodity you can't buy. Yeah. Well, anyway, you think I'll live to be until 2025? Yeah, you, you'll you'll live out of uh, just so you can make my life miserable on Wednesday. I, mean, I don't look unhealthy, do I? No, not no, at all. Not at all. They, they, that's what they're going to say. He looks so good and then all of a sudden he's dead. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I, I, in 2025, they're going to land people on the moon and start doing stuff there, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and in the meantime, they're sending up a, a something to circle the moon. It's going to be like a, a GPS uh, oh. station. And a thing that they can, and they're also going to put up a, uh, they're going to also send up like a habitat or something that they can live in for a little bit before they go down to the moon. Yeah. I I think you know these things are are phenomenal, uh, you know. Um, oh, uh, that GPS will come in handy to help the Ukrainians keep their missiles out of Poland. Well, you know what happened. I mean, they were trying to shoot down all these rockets that Russia had been lobbing in like crazy, and one of these things went bad. And by the way, the one that went bad was a Russian-made rocket that they had. <laughs> That's well, probably why could, they thought it was Russians. But we, Zelensky is adamant saying that it was a Russian, uh, oh, it was a Russian rocket, <laughs> even though it was the a, Ukrainians it was a, fired it. It was a Russian rocket. because, he, And you say, well, why did the Ukrainians have Russian rockets? They were supplied, their entire supply of, of rockets, missiles, uh, at the time. I mean, now a lot of them are sent here by the United States and so on and so forth. But uh, uh, a lot of those uh, came, were made by Russia, and that's why this was a Russian missile. Yeah, you know, it it makes sense. And at first, they uh, didn't know where it came from, but you know. mm-hmm. well, I, I'm glad there was a little bit of restraint. But uh, I think the restraint in having the reaction from NATO uh, was that people are tired. They're you know they they call it uh, Ukraine fatigue, and that uh, I think that uh, the West. Is is tired of what's going on? Listen, we're t- we're tired. We get tired of stuff, but the, that doesn't make it any less important, you know. Yeah, and that's well, the problem. Now, uh, I guess they is it that winter presents a better opportunity for the Russians to mobilize and it attack. Ne- it, 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 well, maybe yes, but the fact is. It, you know the Russians were very good during winter because uh, that's what that's what killed uh, hurt Napoleon. Yeah. You know that's that's what hurt uh, Hitler, uh, because the winters came and they were severe and the Russians knew how to fight in them and they didn't. Uh, but the U- Ukraine is part of that climate. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and they, they know they, how to fight in it too. They they could fight in a snowstorm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. 
Well, uh, let's. So, yeah. So did you see? I have something here to show, and you you know might show up on your screen, but it will take time oh, because. Uh, what is that? Uh, she uh, dressing down uh, Trudeau. No, I didn't know. How, how did she? Dress oh, uh, during the uh, G twenty conference, I guess Trudeau and she had a, a discussion, and uh, the Canadians leaked uh, the information, and then the uh, cameras caught uh, she letting Trudeau know that he was unhappy with uh, uh, Trudeau's um, um, opening his mouth yeah. and, uh, and leaking leaking conversations that they had. Oh, well, yeah. he, so he has a right to be pissed, you know, yeah. if that's you know, the case. But anyway, the point, well, the point is uh, that in that situation, Biden and Xi got along very well. You know, they, they've had a long-term relationship with each other. And it was kind of like two old friends getting together. They, in fact, if you look at Xi's face when he first sees Biden, big smile on his face. Yeah, because yeah, he knows he's going to walk all over him. The, no, you he's know, the, not. No, the he's thing not. about Xi, and uh, whether it was Trump or anyone else, is Xi with one hand says, oh, I'm your friend, give me a hug. And with the other hand, he says, you know, Taiwan... That that's my well, country. No, no, he's he's not going to give up on Taiwan, but I don't think he's going to do anything about it. Okay, no, only hope. I think he's just going to complain a lot. Anyway, here what I want to show you: there's a certain gentleman who uh, decided that he's going to run for president. He's, oh, Doctor Trump. Yes, you must be very happy with that. Well, uh, yes, no. Uh, you know, I uh, sort of agree with uh, a lot of other Republicans, mm -hmm. just as much as. Uh, the West is uh, getting Ukraine fatigue. I think that uh, America is getting Trump fatigue. And uh, oh, there's no question about that. I, I thought that Trump was was great when he was president. And I really liked what he did. But I think his time has come and gone. Well, yeah. let me let me uh, let me show you something because it, it is also, it is but well, what also it's two years early and every time someone would declare this early uh they would uh, uh rise up and fall long well, before he hasn't even risen up here uh, who is his he, has been his biggest supporter uh, the guy who helped get him in office uh, uh, lawler not lawler uh, no. uh, 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 ron uh, no no starts no, with an l no no no, no. Uh, he's a billionaire no, he's he said no, that he wasn't going to no, back him no the guy uh, who got him into office was murdoch Oh, yeah. Yeah. Murdoch and the Post and Fox and so on. And he just said, I'm going to make him president. He didn't like him, but he said, I'm going to make him president. Then he'll be in our pocket, which he, which he was. Um, and uh, so he could always count on the New York Post to love him. Well, I don't know if the New York Post loves him anymore. Let me put this up and see if you can see it after a while. Okay. Uh, but this is, uh, this is the New York Post from the other day. See, children of war. Uh, is a headline, bloody shirt of a little girl. Somebody got killed, I think it was in Queens or Brooklyn or, you know. Uh, crackdown on gangs behind 19 shootings. Now, at the very bottom, okay, it, it, can you see that page now? Uh, is, yes. Is it come up? Is, uh, it's circled. Uh, Florida man yeah. makes announcement. Yes, Florida man makes announcement. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day after uh, Trump made his announcement. Uh, page 26. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. They didn't, they, Florida man makes announcement. Anyway, here is the article itself inside a brief column, column attributed to Post staff was dripping with sarcasm, they say here. Listen to what they wrote. Yeah. With just 720 days to go before the next election, a Florida retiree <laughs> made the surprise <laughs> announcement that he was running for president. In a move no political pundit saw coming, avid golfer Donald J. Trump kicked things <laughs> off at Mar-a-Lago Resort and classified documents library. Wow. Uh, I don't think uh, the Post likes him anymore. Uh, I think somebody's got a sense of humor. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, but some, yeah. somebody also doesn't like him anymore. Yeah, well, he, he can't uh, he can't depend on the good graces of the uh, of the uh, uh, 
of the good, of, of the, good graces uh, of the post any I longer. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, well, you know, I, I think that a, a lot of things contributed to the uh, the red dribble uh, instead of a wave or a trickle. Um, you know, there was a lot of promises made from the left. Uh, $2,000 stimulus checks. $10,000 to $20,000 student loan forgiveness. None of those things happened. Well, the, they were, the student, those were promises. The student loan forgiveness uh, was... Held up by a judge. Ju held up by a judge. I mean, this is not because he didn't do it. No, but it didn't get done. So well, it I'm hasn't saying, been done yet. But, well, you know... It's not going to get done. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You know, uh, and, you know, where the $2,000 stimulus check, I don't think that uh, this country needs more stimulus. We have enough inflation. The last thing we need is more stimulus. You know stimulus. what bothers me? I'll tell you something. I think you'll agree. This is something we can, can agree on, Phil. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I said to my wife the other day, I saw an interview with uh, Michelle Obama, with uh -huh. uh, Stephen Colbert, and she said, you know, she says, People ask me why mar my marriage has lasted so long and so on. What's the, what's the reason for the success? She says, I find that people who marry each other who have nothing in common wind up having better marriages than people who have everything in common. You know, I, I look at uh, a few of my friends. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, two friends, Jim and Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, they do everything together. They get along so well they, they have just the best marriage. And he's in his 70s, and she's in her late 50s, early 60s. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they do uh, 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 not me crab, that's some sort of Thai dish, uh, but uh, a cob, crab maga. Uh, well, anyway, get, uh, to, get to your point. Okay. But they, they have a great marriage, and it, it's like they're best friends. And, no, that, and that's not what I'm talking about. That's, and that's not what Michelle Obama was talking about. I mean, uh, Marjorie's a very good friend of mine. You know, she's yeah. my best friend. Yeah. Uh, and I, but she said that it's just a matter of not having things in common. All right. The people who don't have things in common have a better relationship than people have who have everything in common. I think it's maybe because one is learning from the other constantly. Well, you that, know? That, that could be true. It's just that if the one person has no interest mm -hmm. in the things that the other person does. So, for instance, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I've had uh, uh, relationships with people where we did all the same things together. We shot, we scuba dove, we, we did all, all these things together. It was a great relationship. Of course, it didn't work out for one reason or another. And mm -hmm. then, and then I'll, I'm in a relationship where I, I have nothing in common with the other person, mm -hmm. and, uh, except they're very nice and I trust them. You know? uh, so my relationship is really built on trust, not on in common or uh, or opposite okay, activity. But, but the point that I'm making or is that I, 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 I think that, uh, so I mentioned to Marjorie, I said, you know, uh -huh. uh, I don't think we maybe have anything in common. And she's been so put off by that. So I'm just, I'm depressed. Why? Because you think we have nothing in common. I said, well, let's figure out something we do. And we don't have anything in common. Uh, but I, I understand that. You know, we I, do have my relationship is very similar to that. Yeah, but do you know and, what we have in common? Each other. Two, our that's, relationship that's right. with each other. You, yeah. you trust each other? Yeah, hey, I just came up with the answer. I'll have to tell her that tomorrow. Right. You know, that's what we have in common is our mutual acceptance and caring for each other. Yeah. You know? and, and that's probably the most important thing. I mean, she likes different food than I do. She likes different movies than I do. She likes different TV shows than I do, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so what I was going to say is I probably have more in common with you than I do with her. <laughs> yeah, well, Trump. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but uh, I, I, the thing that was pissing me off, I got mm. another thing today. And they, they just, it just, the, the New York Times sent me a thing. Uh, we're charging $2 more a week for the New York Times. Is this the uh, digital version? Digital and the Sunday weekend oh, okay. papers. Uh, and I'm going... You know, and then, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Disney has up theirs by $2 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Somebody else uh, uh, added uh, uh, up something for a couple of dollars a month. And I'm going, you know, this is bad times for the American people. Exactly. Right? 
And, People are getting and, more and, austere. They're, yeah, they're, well, they're, well, it's they're not, cutting it's, back. It's not the time for these organizations to suddenly raise their prices. Why? What are they paying more for? For instance, let's talk about Disney, all right? I'm buying a service that's digital. What are they paying more for? They raise the prices on internet uh, connection? No. No, but there's there's uh, there's cost. Employee costs are much greater now. Well, than they... yeah, but no, but that's the other thing. You hear about all these companies that want to raise you two dollars, but they're letting go of ten thousand people. Uh, well, they they have to. I mean, well, uh, no, you uh, don't have to. You know, the last thing look you at do. Twitter. Listen. Look at listen, Twitter. Wait, hold on a second. There's no more free lunch at Twitter. Have you ever eaten in that building? It, there's no free lunch there at all. Anyway, well, yeah, there used to there used to be a cigar shop downstairs when it was the Furniture Mart. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, there was also a radio station. Yeah, well, I I had an office there on the second floor. They had the last. Um, uh, uh, it was a switchboard, mm -hmm. and e each of the offices had a had a phone that was connected to the switchboard, mm -hmm. and the switchboard had those plugs in it that mm -hmm. you know the the person plugged in and and connected you uh, to to the office or from a call from the outside, and uh, that was the last uh, working switchboard I think in the country yeah. was building. Well, anyway, anyway. Um, uh, the point is, these companies are letting people go like crazy. You know, I always, uh, I, I, who was it said it? it uh, and I think it was actually, it may have been uh, uh, former pr head of, uh, the, of the Chinese government, uh, Deng, Chi, Deng Xiaoping, yeah. uh, who said, I, what I could never get about the United States of America is that when a company is doing badly uh they let all the people on the bottom go and he said the fault is with the people on the top they're yeah. the ones that should lose their job you should start from the top ceo exactly. whatever and work your way down fire those people all you'd have to do is fire about 50 of the top people and you'd save all the money you'd save by firing Ten thousand of the bottom people. Musk did fire uh, uh, the guy who was the uh, CEO. Well, no, because president. he was going to go anyway. Because you know, yeah. when the new guys come in, the CEO, old CEO goes. Yeah, he got quite a golden parachute. I understand. Probably. Yeah. Probably. The, so what? What's what's going on there? Is Musk says that only ten percent of based on uh, the the cards that people uh, swipe when they come in and out of the building. 10% of the workers uh, show up at the building. Can you imagine all the rent people are paying and, and they, and they want to work remotely? Uh, you know, if, why do you think, I, I know that, you know, working remotely might be a good because you don't have to commute. You, you don't have to wear uh, pants uh, on Zoom calls and, you know, think, things like well, that. Well, I would but, think that he would not be one to mind people working you know. from home. Because he's, you know, he's he's got a modern he company and he's into scientific stuff, and he should know. There's no if unless it's important for that person to physically be there. I, people who need to physically be there would be, say, the IT people who need to stick wires together. You know. All right. You know, you, but 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 for people who are running various areas of the company, there's no reason for them to come in. For eight years, you've been complaining about the culture of not having a place to go to, uh, to uh, to commiserate with other people, uh, to to have a certain culture, and uh, and and to be able to work uh, instead of the power of one, it's the power of many, and uh, you, you don't you don't have that if you're stuck in your basement. Which, which, uh, so by going in, I don't know if they call it the water cooler syndrome or something, mm -hmm. but uh, by going in and, and, and having that collaboration mm -hmm. uh, with, with other people in a, in a like-minded uh, goal, uh, I, I think is very valuable. And that's what's lost in, yeah. uh, in, in working from home. Yeah. Let me, let me bring in some other people here. There are a couple of people waiting. So. Okay. Uh, and I would like to talk about why reclining on your uh, your seat on a plane causes people to go crazy. What, what I mean, what, 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 where'd you come well, up with you know, this one? Uh, lately, people have been having air rage because 
they recline their seat. I know that when I sit in a seat on a plane, I want to recline it. And if you don't like it, recline your seat. And if everybody's reclined, there'll be the same amount of room. And everybody will be comfortable. But I, I very seldom recline my seat, believe it or not. You don't? No. Did no. they have reclining seats last time you were in a plane, Alex? The last time they were in a plane, the, the wings were made of wax, and there he flew go. it into the sun. You guys keep talking about G. Who is G? XI. He's the, uh, uh, pres the president of... Yeah, I believe it's pronounced she. She, he, I don't care what his pronoun is. <laughs> that's well, right. let's, that's actually, let's, right. let's start calling Trump dump instead. That's actually what <laughs> you guys do. That's actually his last name, you know. Dump. Yeah, she. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. She, she, is, she is his last name. Because yeah. in China, the, the first name is, is the, the last, last name. name. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. he is, his name is Deng Chao. No, Deng Chao was the e earlier president, the one that got walked out of that. Oh, no, last that's Deng Xiaoping. I'm talking. Let me and, now, and now we got I can't dumb, how, what she, now we what, got dumb what, Chow, Trump. What's she? What she's? Oh, do and we, we got. Do we have we to make jokes? Allen. Do we have huh? to make jokes Learn about from continuity camera. What do you, iOS update required. <laughs> Ooh. What was sure. my, my, that's okay, <laughs> Jeff. My update failed. Hey, I updated yesterday, and, and and it wouldn't let me on. I had a I had a meeting with the uh, district attorneys group, and uh, I, it took me ten minutes to get uh, logged in. I had to reboot several times. Zoom has been yeah. difficult. A mess. Me. It hasn't asked me to upgrade. So I so like I you. see that since <laughs> the Democrats are not going to support Trump. Um, I mean, the, the, Republic, the Republicans are not. The Democrats think it's the best thing that happened because he's going to take votes from the, the person that's most likely could win, which is uh, uh, DeSantis. At the moment. I, yeah. do, I don't think DeSantis is the most likely to win. I think that the whole idea that, oh, he did so well in Florida, blah, blah, blah. You know, outside of Florida, nobody gives a crap about this guy. You know, they don't know what he's about or what he's capable of. Uh, no, yeah. he amongst Republicans, I think he's getting no, amongst, he's amongst a lot of not, favor. It, hey, it, come on. He, he, well, he, Democrats aren't yeah. going to vote for him. Oh, I will. Yeah, you would vote for oh, DeSantis. Ab absolutely, he's well. Wonder. Maybe he's, in the primary, he's, see, well, he's. I'll tell you. I'll, I, 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 I'll tell you. Of course, I don't like him. Of course, I can't stand him. But he, <laughs> as a governor, he's been pretty good as a governor. Okay, yeah. except for some of the crappy, stupid stuff he's done, like. You know, sending people up to Martha's Vineyard and deals like that. You know, <laughs> love it. I mean, that's well, that's wasting Florida's money. Okay. Well, I, I think a lot of Floridians were very happy but, with that. Uh, but you know, he handled the uh, the hurricane very well. He handles the crises that uh, plague uh, Florida, uh, such as Jews, the Jews. <laughs> uh, uh, you know. By the way, anybody see uh, Chappelle on Saturday Night Live? Oh, I saw. I heard about it, but I didn't. My see brother it. made me watch it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's it was fun. good, oh, Alec, wasn't it? I, I, I love it. You know, you know what I? You know what I hate about being a Jew is the fucking yeah. ADL, the Anti Defamation League, and this moron who's heading it up now, who comes out with, "I'm well, I saw what he did, and he trivialized the whole Holocaust and blah." That wasn't what he was doing at all. Yeah, he well, was, people he was, trying to make, he was trying to make more of a point about how everybody piles on people right. uh, with, without real reason, you know. People are much too sensitive. But just to finish what Alan was saying before, uh, I saw that, in, that a lot of Republicans, uh, and New Hampshire is one example, uh, that the uh, Democrats in the primary supported the weakest Republicans that they thought that uh, could be beaten in the general election. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what happened. And one of the oh, well, reasons uh, why... I, I, hey, hey, the Republicans do that, too. Okay? Well, no, th I mean, there was... I people... think they invented it, didn't they? Yeah. No, yeah. no. I, I think a lot of people uh, changed their party or went in, uh, so that they could vote in the Republican uh, primary. People do not do that to a great extent. There are some that do. Okay? Granted, yeah. there are some that do. But I and I don't think it's limited to Democrats. Republicans do it too. Well, they so 
you so, know. So uh, I mean, we, what, all of a sudden you're true. blaming the you're blaming the Democrats. Yes, I am. Yeah. Because the Democrats seem to have succeeded in this uh, in this effort. Uh, and no, they New didn't Hampshire do. You know what they did? Example. You know what they did to win this election? They made a good case. Well, All right. I, I, what's a good case? Uh, <laughs> that uh, you know, abortion is more important than crime and inflation. It's all important. Uh, it's all important. They, you don't put priority on any of those things. They're all important. Yes, yeah. yes, uh, yes, Tony. I went to Key Food. Do you know they sell mace in my Key Food? <laughs> I'm telling you. It was right by the uh, on the side of the Yankee Doodle. Something that the Drake's display. They have a big sign. We sell Macy. <laughs> I mean, it's getting bad though. Come Could on. somebody tell me what he just said? Do you said? know where you can get the best Mace? Where Macy's? Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, what is it? My I told my sister to get a bottle, but she walks to school sometimes to teach. But she's afraid because she comes home well, at night. Just then. stop it. Stop I'm telling you, she's afraid. I had to walk over to. It's not how many of your friends. How many of your friends have been mugged recently? I had a lady mugged in front of the house, Alex. That remember I told you, they took a pocketbook. Yes, but if, you, but if, if you hadn't go, if you hadn't gone out, they she would have been okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cop looked at me like I was crazy with my pajamas on at three. He's right. He was right. Yeah, you you escaped you from the here. asylum. I'm walking out the door. No, I just figured I, I'm getting the mail. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Hello there, Ray. How you doing? Hello. Yeah. Hey, you're doing good. How are you? Bye. Did you show Alex that picture? You were in character. I saw it. Me? You know, you put a picture up on your page of Frank. Oh yeah, yeah. I was in the dressing room. That's one of the characters I play in the play. Yeah. Scottish grave digger. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, so um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, I, 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 a lot of people have done that over the years. A lot of people said to me, "Well, you know, in New York, why don't you go? You know, why don't you just register as a Republican and vote in the Republican primary?" And I went, "That's eh, a waste of time," you know. Uh, well, but uh, it, worked, it worked well. For it, Trump. it worked out in New Hampshire as well as many other states. It also worked out well for Trump. Right, you know, you'll him. never admit that Trump got elected by by chicanery. Well, he got, he got elected. No, he I don't got, think he did. He, he got. I he think got elected. Hillary, 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 she got five million more votes than he did. Yeah, in California, it doesn't matter how many votes you get. It's called the Electoral College. And that is the biggest ruse ever. time you went to school, it, the Electoral it, College. No, no. <laughs> do we do we really have to do this with the? Uh, I wonder if it was regular. Nobody's or... listening to Phil. It doesn't matter. It's lip service. Nothing comes out. Yeah, he had you dead, Alan. To me, he said Alan was doing bad. Yeah, Alan. I, I uh, oh, uh, Tony call uh, writes me and says, "Oh, very nice." <laughs> Tony uh, writes me, "Hey, Alan, put the background on." Uh, and says, uh, you know, what's with Tony? I said, uh, I mean, what's with Alan? I said, well, gee, the funeral's Monday. <laughs> yeah, really yes, good. Yeah, yes, Charlie. That's not funny. Uh, uh, well, no, I actually laughed, though. Actually, more important than, than Democrats crossing over to vote in the Republican primary, the actual DNC actually spent more, actually donated money, over $30 million to these Trump the, the election deniers. So that they would win the primaries, and right. that's really what more contributed to the Republican losses. Well, isn't that what I just said? You said they were crossing over and voting in the Republican primary. Yes, so that they could elect the well, least yeah, electable. Well, I'll tell you, Trump uh, the other night. I keep waiting for the the lies, oh, the lies, down. and he had a big lie. <laughs> on on he his, well, he talked about. It. He said, you know, he said. Uh, a lot of the, uh, they said that a lot of the uh, people who I, in, in, you know, endorsed uh, uh, lost. And, and he said, but uh, and they named like uh, over 100 that, you know, had won. But the thing is, all those that he was mentioning were winning because they already were in office. They already were a very heavy Republican area and they were going to win anyway. Had right. nothing to do with Trump. OK, the, the people that Trump really supported like Oz, yeah, I can't believe you know, Like uh, uh, the, what? The what, new, what, did, what does Chappelle call a Walker? 
Uh, oh, yeah. He, what did he say? Again? That was funny. <laughs> yeah. He well, caught the walking dead. The guy, Whatever's the going on in his. The guy that's the new speaker of the house. What's his name? Oh, uh, 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 McCarthy. Oh, uh, he said he's, he, he referred to Walker as, I think, observantly stupid. Yeah, that was yeah, that was funny. He was great. That's uh, a good one. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, 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 think making, I, love I, I think making fun of the way the guy talks is not... Not uh, we're not making fun of the way they talk. We're Look, he says he's going to be there to represent the people, and well, I you think, know, according to according you, to Walker, uh, yeah. um, um, uh, um, this country is the best country in the United States. Right, <laughs> it is. Well, you know, uh, in, he in Georgia, it, he in Georgia, to file a, a, a horse yet. And you follow it, you'll find the horse. In Georgia, the people really are represented by Walker. Look, Georgia, everybody <laughs> gets their teeth fixed like me. <laughs> so, so McCarthy says today <laughs> he's gonna be, he's gonna, he was voted <laughs> to be Speaker of the House. McCarthy says he wasn't. He wasn't. Vo he wasn't voted Speaker of the House today. Was he? Or yeah. he was no, nominated. he wasn't. He was no, nominated. He, he was whatever. nominated, but he the vote yeah. doesn't take place until January. So, okay. so and, that, yeah, okay. Anyhow, so um, he he says the reason that the Republicans did so poorly in the Senate was one person in particular, McConnell, Trump. 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 Oh, really? Trump yeah. screwed everybody. Uh, I think that, uh, you know. And when Herschel Walker doesn't become the next whatever in, in Georgia, the next senator, he can blame Trump's endorsement. I donated $50 to Herschel Walker. You gave it to And me. now I'm being inundated with emails Good. that mm -hmm. just give $5 more. Yep. You know, I mean, I, you know, they wanted $5 in the first place. I gave them 50 and now they, they want more, $2, $5, $7, whatever you can give. And it's got to be done by tonight. Otherwise, I guess they can't collect any more money. You're, you're, you also get a one-year free subscription to Boy's Life, don't you? Uh, no, no, that's what you beat off to. I didn't say beat <laughs> off. I said by donating to Herschel Walker. Oh, this show is just taking a nut. You need this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony, you need more light on your background. We have better backgrounds than yeah. you. So, Alex, I sent you a thank you note in a, in a text. I saw Friday's show at home when I got home Saturday from the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for the uh, get well wishes. And well, what else too, could I What else could I do? Gee, I hope he doesn't get better. <laughs> well, that's the only, that's the only other choice I, I had. I, I, no, I, I like what you said. I hope he gets better. We, we're, we need, we need more people here. Mm -hmm. like people, it's, Alan, yeah. not, not Alan. People, people. people. <laughs> and, and Tony, I thank you for your concern. Oh, you're welcome. I was worried about my coffee. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I knew I'm it. Joking. I knew it. Ulterior motives. That's yeah. okay. You know what's funny about this background? Because Tony doesn't have enough light on his back. I know. He That's doesn't right. have the, the he doesn't, light on. He the joke he turn the light over to the background. We don't see, see, see there That's we go. That's better. where that's where we got it. Oh, right? oh thank thank God we got that it before Ray. The, the drapes were messed up like that. Oh, no, we got that from Ray. More light. I know. Uh, the white, it's dark from the thing. Ray is a, a, a the master on. at this. If you have a black shirt on, it would be very bright behind I, you. I did a screenshot mm -hmm. once when Tony got out of his chair, and I saved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And we, might, I, we might rip the wallpaper down, Alex. My sister wants to redo this room. Well, I don't. <laughs> but it will live on in an interview with this. I'm glad you saved it. You know, I... I, I never rip... You know, until you... When I went to visit Shecky one time, I'll never forget when you said... I never noticed the wallpaper, Alex, until you said it that day. Is, is that wallpaper? <laughs> and it was two different shades. She was, I think, alive at the She was alive at the time. And it was, I turned what's around. That, what's my, that big round thing in the back? It's a plate. Those are her dishes. That's a I'm dish. going to have to take them down. Her angel dishes. My angel. sister probably take one. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Exactly. We're on eBay. I'm thinking about selling it. Don't hold me if on. I do it, Phil. <laughs> Yeah, no. there, there's always somebody out there in Georgia that'll buy it. 
Yeah, got probably. so many humbles here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I feel we, we have a we have a, we have a woman who calls the Monday show named Mandy. She lives in uh, Georgia. She likes uh, Phil. Uh, yeah, but yeah, she uh, wants to beat me up. That's uh, uh, yeah. I, wants to punch me in the face. Uh, she said. I, uh, did she? Yeah. One yeah. time she said that, that would be you, you, can do, you can do that show one time. That would that would be a worth watching yeah. show. So I want to punch I, that Phil in the face. Woo! <laughs> By the way, I can't, I can't stand this any longer. What's that? Uh, the the, the uh, background. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't. I, I'm well, that's, you can't. That is actually Alex's real background. You see that yeah, the thing that he's there. got <laughs> with, with the living room? That's Tony's living room. She's still got paneling in one of the rooms. we got to get rid of that. Like, you like that? Ow. It's like the 70s. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah. I like that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what she had, my mother. That's my Broadway background. Right. Let me see here. Here's uh, here we used to use that one. This is one we've never used because it's a little. It doesn't do much of anything, and I don't use this either. Yeah. Pence and, had a oh, town hall meeting today. Yeah, I saw. And, a bit of it. I, and he I, says that he is going to do everything possible to uh, have Trump indicted for uh, the insurrection on January. He refused today to uh, <laughs> nice. He refused today to uh, testify uh, no. uh, about oh, the January sixth. Uh, well, he'll he'll get a subpoena. No, the FBI will go pick said him he up. was not going to testify. That's good. The FBI good. will pick him up, arrest him, and they'll force him. I don't think so. Uh, I it, he was interviewed uh, recently. Uh, I didn't see the interview, but people that I've spoken to said that they uh, were impressed by him. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm only. I, 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 I get funny. impressed with him until he starts talking about Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> he said that at one point he called, talked to Trump after the insurrection, right, and said that he should uh, take Jesus to heart. And I'm he going. He said I'm Trump never to, called him to find out if he was okay. No, he didn't not, call to find out if he was okay. He said he talked to him five days later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess during during the thing or right after it. Right. He never Dead Trump him. never called him. Right. Yeah. That's what type of friend Trump is. Mm -hmm. Do for hey. me, and I'll screw you over. Uh, this is Broadway in San Francisco. Oh. Yes. Really? So <laughs> uh, this this is the bay and and the, and the Golden Gate Bridge behind me. Yeah. Uh, Good bridge. Yeah, it's a lot nicer looking than Phil's background. And this is my living room. A strip club. <laughs> This is my living room, folks. Yeah. yeah. I'm in a lousy place right now. Yeah, what's that? Really? You okay? You know, yeah, no, no, no. My, I'm not here physically. My wife and uh, his, his uh, sisters are here, and they took over the house. Even Brian was nice enough to, co to call me over the weekend. And to see how I was. We doing. were just listening to what Jeff was saying. <laughs> yeah, what's this interruption? That right. important. He's interrupting again. <laughs> you know, I like, you're right, you? but, between you and Phil, you, I got two people with two agendas of their own while we're trying to talk about, hey, Jeff's kind of got the family there and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, let's they, pile they, they on. Take show notes. They take mm -hmm. show notes so they have their agendas. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. they're all here because their mother is uh, is uh, her birthday. Happy birthday! How old? Yeah, is she? too how old. old. How old? Yeah. Uh, Alex's age? Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Wow, that's that's my mother's age. Yeah, and she's also got dementia. Oh, just like his mother. No, my my mother's him. healthier than I am. That's, that's good. How about your How about your mother, uh, Alan? She's She's doing pretty good. She can still drive. She's still uh, her Whoa. mind works good. Where she drive? You crazy? <clears throat> yeah. As well, in part, yes. Well, my and mother, help me, my help mother, me, help me out. Interrupt here. My mother yeah. is is dead. Yeah, yeah. mine too. We got something. How dead is she? <laughs> I'm joking. Did your mother uh, really dead? She a hundred years old. Yeah, she was a hundred and change. How long ago? Well, that's that's a good life. How long ago did your mother pass away, Alex? Oh God, it was how many years ago? I don't know. When did I'm I go? I'm guessing at twenty. Well, she died at hundred. She was born yeah. in nineteen oh six, oh four. 
something like 1994. Mm-hmm. So, so it's there. been about 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going next. My breathing has just been fucked lately. And <clears throat> But it could be you the way. You have a filter in your apartment. Maybe there's, you know, I think there's, I think there's something in this apartment that yeah, I'm. Yeah, there could I'm be like 120 with. years of paint and lead paint yeah. and all sorts of shit. I mean, that, some some days I'm fine, other days I'm not. It and mm-hmm. I think it has to do with the weather. It has to do with the all the work that's being done on the building. Yeah, they're they're, they're it's right outside my door. They're hauling bricks up to the roof, and there's all this brick powder all over the all over the floors. Well, your oh, yeah. studio is where you spend most of your time. You could put one of those. No, it's uh, not where filters. I spend most of my time. Oh, uh, what in the bathroom? I'd rather okay. not have anything to do with uh, this. <laughs> all right. Well, wherever you spend most of your time, get one of those uh, filters mm-hmm. uh, that uh, you know filters out all all of that stuff. I had crack. one. Yeah. What happened? Doesn't work. No. It doesn't do anything. I bought a new filter for it. Yeah, you know how much the filters are for those things? Yeah, they're expensive. It's like I I got one that wasn't the brand filter, yeah. and it was cheaper than the brand filter. The brand filter was like seventy nine bucks. Oh. My yeah, my, and it's good for six months. It's like razors, and uh, you know they give you the razor for free, and they. You no, know, I just I just keep brushing, brushing it off and cleaning it, cleaning it out, and just saying, yeah. you know, until it gets. I I can make them go two years now. I bought one from the Sharper Image store, mm-hmm. which is a long time ago. I still have it. It still works. Mm-hmm. Alan had his hand up. Yes, Al. Uh, Bill, I have a suggestion. Instead of donating Herschel Walker, you do the friendly thing and you get Alex a good air purifier. Uh, it's in the mail. You and, said to him, you're the one with all the money. Well, here's here's the problem. If I had a one bedroom, yeah, but I'm not giving it to Herschel Walker. If I had a one bedroom apartment, yeah, say 600 square feet, this one would take care of me. This isn't. It's not, I have it in the bedroom. It's only good for there. And then Marjorie, yeah. Marjorie leaves the windows open. She wants yeah. the windows open all the time. And really, mm-hmm. if you want this thing to work effectively, you close the window. Though, so yeah, you, don't you have let, to recirculate. Yeah, exactly. So, you know. And then I turn it on high, and it's always making noise. And it's, uh, you know. Yeah. Ah, just complaining, complaining, complaining. Uh, Alan, what was wrong? An older Jew. Uh, 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 Ray is trying to say I was say just something. wondering what was wrong with Alan. You were sick? Yeah, yeah, I had uh, stomach flu a week from Monday, severe, and it it wasn't going away, and the doctor sent me to the ER to get checked out, and they kept me overnight for observation because some of my electrolytes were off, and they oh. released me the next day, and so, there we oh, are. okay. I'm yeah. back. You well, survived. I well, survived, thank you. Yeah. Good, good man. Yeah. So uh, I never never go. I'm never going to the emergency room ever again. Okay? You want COVID? Go to the emergency room. No, I'm I'm not going to go to the co- I'm not going to go to the, uh, the the emergency room again because they just do too much. Yeah, they go to they do too much. I mean, they gave me two different CT scans. They did a, a heart echocardiogram on me that was very extensive. They did. They did a whole bunch of stuff checking my brain and this and that and everything. I mean, uh, and the only thing they found were some enlarged lymph nodes, which they then sent me to an oncologist, and they looked at the work, the blood work, and everything, and said uh, the hum- and and said, uh, we can't see you. You're not. You don't have cancer. <laughs> you know. You don't have any of the signs. They looked at all the work that they did on me. They said, oh, yeah, I guess they looked at the, the lymph node things because that's the thing they would look for, for the lymphoma. And they just looked at all my blood uh, panels and so on and just said, uh, I thought they, they were just not going to see me. But I called them back uh, a couple of weeks later and I asked them about it. And they said, no, the reason they didn't want to see you is you have to have cancer. You have to have some signs that show us that you have cancer. And they couldn't <laughs> find anything in your work that indicated that you had cancer. So that put me in a bind, that These whole thing. guys don't know what they're talking about. You had cancer. How come <laughs> they don't, you know, they can't recognize? Didn't you tell them about, you know, your uh, uh, oh, then, oh, then because they wouldn't see me, my doctor said, well, here, go to this blood oncologist guy. So I, yeah. I made an appointment, and that's when I called back 
to Mount Sinai, and this woman remembered me and said, no, the reason they wouldn't see you wasn't because we just didn't want to see you. They looked at your work, they looked at all the stuff that was done at the, in the emergency room and decided that you didn't have cancer. And they, they said, we can only see somebody who has cancer. So that's yeah. why. So I then cancel with this other person because I go yeah, to them and they give me they 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 give me the uh, give me all give me the same tests all over again and I don't want that you know I mean eventually if you, if you work hard enough you're gonna find something that's killing me you know how much was the bill at the hospital for that you know uh, I was amazed I only came to something like two thousand dollars that is that is amazing. Yeah. All of those times, two thousand. Well, that's you see, that's what that's what Medicare. Well, they have a sale. Well, no, that's what Medicare would pay. So that's the only thing they uh, could charge. Oh, what did they charge? Not what they we got. They got paid. I don't, but what rem did they I don't remember, but I I, rem I would remember that I said to myself, "This is amazingly low." I didn't think it was going to be this low. Yeah, but yeah. that's what they paid, not necessarily no, no, no. what charge. It may, you know, I'm they, sure. they could have charged a hundred grand, and they get two. I'm sure in New York is like California. A CT scans three or four thousand. Then they got to have the doctor interpret it. A heart scan is probably fifteen thousand. No, an echocardiogram doesn't cost that much. I get it at my doctor's at office, and his full charge on I it is something CT. like five. No, but you CT also said your heart. Your heart and the heart was the echocardiogram. Uh -huh. Oh well, okay. Uh, give an, you an echocardiogram. Thing. My doctor, I think, tries to charge four hundred. Something like that, yeah. So. I I had a, a much bigger workup then. I had a nuclear medicine injected in me. I, I I've heart done that. Scan, and then they run you in and out of the CT scanner a couple times, and that bill, although I didn't have to pay it because I have Kaiser, was uh, sixty two hundred dollars. Yeah, something. but Kaiser is doctor assisted suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That, that's that's a, a Larry that, Bubbles. That's Brown. a Larry Bubbles Brown joke. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. You, you know, know they, uh, had, they had a saying in the in in the nineties. Kaiser did good people, good medicine, and then somebody added good luck to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, well, Kaiser's was, been good to me. Uh, you know, I'm going in at the end of the month. Uh, my knee hurts, and uh, you really like social. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're you're going to a place of socialized medicine. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, hard to believe, huh? Isn't it? It's well, it's not government socialized medicine. It's private, and uh, you know, I, I believe in private concerns working together to do the right thing. But I'm getting an MRI. I believe the, the government should do it and spend the money we give them to do stuff with. No, let them spend it on the stuff they should, like defense. But uh, I, the, what defense? Who are we <laughs> defending ourselves against? No, he said fence, like a wall. Like a wall uh, defense, well, the fence and defense. That's part of the defense. About, uh, playing sports. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hi, no, Brian. Uh, How you doing? I uh, I was lifting weights and I uh, was doing squats with uh, with, uh, with fairly heavy I weights. I don't. Please don't even say that. I don't. I I, I have a mental image and then it it's pitch me. <laughs> I was doing uh, my squat. Yeah, we want to see this. Yeah. So, uh, what, wait a minute. What? What? what, what? Red dolphin. Tight, red dolphin shorts at the gym. Yeah. What's that? That's what Bill wears. What? Oh, red. No, I, I have um, those tight red dolphins, and it's doing the squat, and your your junk falls out. Uh, There's nothing to fall out. Just one, one, one ball. Just one testicle comes out. Yeah. No, I, I hate. That. I have nice gym clothes. Uh, Tony looks so nice tonight. Make a nice haircut. Yeah, you, know, nice haircut or yeah. you, know, well, you have some nice gym clothes. Why do you want to look good at the gym? You're just going to yeah, sweat a lot. Of course I want to look good. Why? Because you know, there are chicks there. Well, not even that. It's just you it's know, a you long want to feel good time about since he's tried to get laid. Okay. <laughs> and even if I did, even, I couldn't. Even the gays turn him down. <laughs> oh, jeez. The gays. I love that. <laughs> I, loved, I loved Chappelle when he said there are two words you should never say. The and Jews. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Jews. I mean, yeah, just say Jews, not the Jews. You know what he said? And, 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 the Twitter. And everybody gave him a bad time for it. He said, you know, he says, I, I, I'm in show business, and I work in Hollywood. And I have to tell you, uh, in Hollywood, 
there are a lot of Jews. <laughs> a lot of Jews. Especially on Fairfax and, and area. I thought, and I said to myself, he's right. You yeah, know? of course. And, 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 but, there, you know, the thing is, there are a lot of, Jew, a lot of black guys in basketball. Yeah. Why is it? Because, well, no, because certain, certain uh, areas of, of, of whatever... Uh, wow. have been occupied by certain groups. And, and if you want to talk about uh, uh, being segregated in this country, the Jews were very segregated at the time that Hollywood was created. And these guys came out from New York to start these movie companies, guys like the Gold, Goldwyn and Mayer and the, the Warner Brothers and so on, and they were all Jews. And they, Lowe's. Lowe's. Yeah. Yep. That's All the reason. Bugs Bunny. That, that's the mm -hmm. Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that's Bugs the, Bunny's Jewish. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Disney the, didn't like the Jews too much. Well, it, he Walt did, Disney. He, he didn't like the Jews, but he hired them. Uh, yeah, uh, didn't you say it was a movie that he had some uh, Jewish guy work on because he didn't want to be blamed for it? Uh, no, no, no. That, that one with you the black have it pros? all. You have it all wrong, Phil. You know, oh, okay. Everybody, everybody. He's, he's, yeah, he's got it wrong. You're talking about Song of the South. That's it. And yeah. the reason he got a a Jew, uh, in fact, a very left wing Jew, to write that film, was because he felt he needed somebody who li who was part of a group that had been prejudiced upon to write the film to give it its proper weight. And that's the reason he hired this guy, not because he, you know. Your then reason. he didn't release it. No, he did release it. Absolutely. Not released. in this country. Uh, Absolutely really? released yeah, it. I saw it when I was a kid. What do you mean he yeah. did? Yeah, it was in theaters. Yeah. But then uh, it was the later Disney and Corporation. You saw right? Birth of a Nation, too, Charlie. Uh, no, <laughs> oh. it, it shouldn't. Uh, the fact of the matter was that uh, Disney felt that uh, the Disney Corporation, once Disney died, felt that film should not be seen in the United States and they just stopped stop making copies of it here. You could go to Japan and buy a copy of it. I, I, I have some friends who have laser discs of Ooh, Song of the it. South that uh, were Japanese laser discs. Yes. Uh, I have it right here on the oh, Internet Film Archive right in front of me. I right have now. it on. So, I have a file of it here, too. So yeah. the, the history of how Disneyland was started, Walt Disney went to the bank to get uh, money. They turned them down. And a, a a buddy of his, the Jewish uh, banker, <laughs> exactly. Well, actually, a buddy of his <laughs> uh, was a Jewish, a wealthy Jewish banker, and funded, See? started the funding for Disneyland. And so, without the Jews, to begin Disneyland, with, you're completely <laughs> wrong. So everybody have another drink. <laughs> okay. Disney, oh, why don't you tell us how Disneyland started? No, Disney got his out. money from the best place he he where he, where, go he got, where he got all his money. From, oh, uh, Phil's not wearing any underwear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My workout stuff. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, it? Phil, why don't you flex for us? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see your six pack. Let's see your weights. <laughs> I'm going to get my six pack. I'll be right anyway. Back. He, he, <laughs> he he always got all his money from Bank of America. Ooh, bank really? of America oh. financed almost everything he did. It, that was an Italian bank at the time. Well, it was the Bank of Italy, yeah. and then yeah. it became yeah. the Bank of America. And yeah. uh, Giannini started it. And the reason he started it is he wanted to start a bank for average people, people who couldn't get loans from banks. I mean, if you were you, you or me. In the old days, if we went into a bank to get money, they'd laugh us out of the place. Bank so he, fun. so what he did, what, who, was that you, Charlie? Yes, especially me. Yeah, especially you. He, he wanted to lend money. He, and the, the way, the first way he started lo loaning money is uh, right after the 1906 earthquake. He set up a little desk out on the street. Bank of Italy, yeah. And started yeah. loaning money to people who didn't nice. have any. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, good bank, uh, good bank in this day. A friend of mine his, is his grandson. His name's Alan Giannini, and 15 years ago he cre he converted to Judaism. It's now Abraham Giannini. He's a, a retired allergist in San Francisco. His I would think it would be better for him to change his last name rather than his first name. Well, How would you go from Catholic name. to Jewish? Well, I want to be Jewish, so I'm going to Avram Giannini. Uh, I, I, Work I, for I, Jesus. I, I, 
I watched. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wasn't in the room with the mikvah, but he went in and and went into the tub of the water and the rabbi and him. But the I, women I, do that. Wait a minute, the tub that's, and that's the a water. Woman. He has it sliced off. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The tub yeah. and the bathtub. What is no, that? No, no, women when they they have a mikvah when they no, 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 no. forget the mikvah. That's not what he's talking about. A he is mix, he's it's mixing a up Judaism with baptism. It's not a baptism. It's the in that's the mikvah. Mean. There's a tub of water. It's supposed to be rainwater. It's for women. It's for women to water. clean their vaginas for crying out loud. <laughs> ah, the vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pussy went, cleanse. <laughs> Funny, funny story is he went to a moil hey, to be and they decided not to take all of it. They took a little piece, which is all they need to do. They put it in a little jar, and he was he's big into public transportation, so he rode Muni, the train, and left the little jar on the train by accident. Oh, what a bummer. Well, they found it and gave it back to him because it said... How did he know it was his? It had his the, name on him. <laughs> has his name on it. How, how do you go, how do you call it? Uh, you call Lost and Found and says, "I left my foreskin on the train." <laughs> I don't know. He Just, rubbed it. Oh, no, what you do is you it's staple like up, you staple up little po little announcements on telephone poles that say, "Have you seen this foreskin?" <laughs> <laughs> You draw a little sad face on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw no that wrinkly thing. It, it owns a carpet store in Concord. <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, uh, yeah. What else? What else? What I've had else? long COVID since I had the damn COVID. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. I, have, I can't. I have the worst insomnia. It's so screwed up. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. What else? Any other things uh -huh. affecting you? Uh, sometimes when I stand up, I feel like I'm going to faint. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and and sleep. How about when sleep you is... drink and eat? You... Huh? When you eat, does it bother your? Yeah, I get really bloated. How's yeah. your blood pressure? <clears throat> Super low. Hmm. Maybe that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Since the COVID. Well, that and could that, be the reason you pass out. Yeah, like I know, and, I, and I'm, I can't. I sleep like three or four hours a night, even wow. with drugs. So I don't. Hopefully, it's <clears> gonna go away. It totally sucks. And I wasn't even really sick. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway. Anyway. So, anyway. Um, yeah. you, you know who died? No. No. Mm -hmm. A guy who I used to see, uh, Bud Friedman. Oh, comedian. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, no, he, had, he, owned a, he owned a comedy store, right? No, well, let's see. Why don't you here. let him finish, Bill? Yeah. yeah. About the time, yeah, Phil. Why, Come on. Why do you have to jump in every time and ruin my timing on the thing? Oh, Okay. Untime it. Come Come on, Bill. Oh, he Wasn't was he 90? A, he was 90, yeah. 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 Oh, I remember that guy. He was the uh, owner of the uh, of the uh, improv. Hmm. Uh, well, the one on the West Coast. The one on the East Coast is wife owned because when they divorced, they he gave her the improv in New York. So uh, hmm. she owned that one. And he, he died the other day, finally. And I, I knew Bud. He was a decent enough guy, you know. He he was. If people don't remember when cable first started, and A and E first started, A and E had a show called "An e Evening at the Improv." Yeah, and yeah. they did so many of them that some days, six hours, twelve hours of A and E was nothing but Bud Friedman and an evening at the Improv. Hmm. And I made the joke one time, and it was true that actually the most pervasive image on a and e was bud friedman and adolf hitler <laughs> you remember when big time wrestling used to f uh, be a tv filler and of course yeah hmm? yeah yeah, yeah. Um, where did that come from? yeah that, where did that, that come from i was thinking the same thing oh, all of a sudden i'm filling you were filling the the content with Bud Friedman and the Night of the Empire. Yeah, and I was talking about A and E, and they had a lot of documentaries with Hitler, and they had a lot of they had the shows with Bud Friedman, and the two images you saw most on A and E were Hitler and Bud Friedman. All right, it was a joke. Oh, and, oh, and oh then, it and was a joke. All, all of a sudden, you go, oh, and you know wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody laugh. It was a joke. 
Actually, you ever see that wow. show Amos and Andy? <clears throat> uh, yeah, when I was a kid. I'm just doing random shit. Yeah. <laughs> How about Ray ask the question? I mean, we haven't heard from Brian. We haven't heard from Kevin. Yeah. Uh, I think Kevin's asleep. You yeah. know, uh, Brian's company is hiring people. Other people are laying off. Uh, are you benefiting? From you know, I was I was these? hoping somebody would hear other than you and me, Phil, talk. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm wondering if Brian is benefiting from all the uh, layoffs now that are going on, uh, a re there's a research company that came out with some drug in your area, and then the, uh, they said that it, it's not going to work. Uh, was it? Um, was it a diabetes? <laughs> no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. uh, we just, just laid we just laid off does. we just laid off a thousand people. So really? Wow. Oh, okay. Why did you lay off a thousand people? Uh, this was in the new the new uh, Newark factory that we just brought up really quick just to get a uh, big window of opportunity for COVID stuff. So this was a temporary factory anyway. So, um, but in Lodi we're hiring another thousand people. So it's we're just moving. You know, why don't you just take the thousand people that you fired? And it's an hour and a half away, and and ask them if they want jobs at the new place. Or yeah, are we you did. doing that? But it's an hour and a half away for people. So, so we and we did transfer some people, supervisors and stuff like that. So, no oh, good. Yeah. That sounds yeah. terrific. Yeah, but uh, you know, I just it bothers me seeing all these companies laying off people laying when the people. problem is is with is not with the people who are working their asses off for the company. It's because of the people who run the companies that these companies aren't doing well, and then they, then they go ahead and they fire people. And it always bothers me. It just doesn't there make any gonna, sense. There are going to be a lot more layoffs as interest rates go up and the economy slows. Layoffs are going to be happening more and more. But yeah. why lay off those people? Why not lay off the people who caused the problem? Well, you know, if you got rid of the top oh, 20 people at most of these big companies. Brian would be unemployed. But wait a minute, wait a minute. And you fired all of them. And got you know new people in cheaper. You would save the money that it would you know the, you'd want to save money by letting ten thousand people go, when you could let fifty five fifty or a hundred people go and make the same money. But it, it depends on what the, what they're working on. And you know those people those people the bottom people on the bottom level are just working hard at their jobs to keep your company going, you know. Yeah, but strategically it depends what the what what you know where the company's going so. Yeah, well, you know, I just, I just, I, I, it's all bothering me that and the fact that everybody's raising their prices. I mean, why, yeah. why should, uh, you know, why should I uh, have to pay uh, $2 more a week for the New York Times when I've got all these other costs like putting food in my mouth? You know, I mean, it, it's not a time for these non essential companies to raise their rates. There's no reason for Disney to raise their rates. Right, right. Outside of the fact they're all getting greedy. Yeah. They're all and going. And a, lot the, and a lot of the companies that did, you know, some have brought them down, like Home Depot, like wood and stuff like that's come back down. Not all the way, but, you know, gas has come back down a little bit. You know, it's gone up and down a little bit. But but a lot of these companies that did raise the prices, they're they're not lowering them. There, there's still some gas stations here that are a dollar or a dollar fifty more a gallon. Yeah. So there's there, there's some certain gas places over here you know that that people know that like Moe's gas which is really really inexpensive but then you have the chevron that is in san jose that's right next to the to the freeway and it's by santana row which is a really high-end shopping area and that one is almost two dollars a gallon more than the Moe's is over here yeah. well, well i mean so, so people guys, here like you say, like you say these, these guys are greedy and they're saying hey i still have people coming at this gas station for a dollar more or dollar fifty more, and so I'm going to keep it that way. Do and they do your windshield and stuff like that? Like yeah, some of the uh, those are the places yeah. that Phil picks out to go to, and then stands there and calls me and says, "He can't believe it! I'm paying seven dollars a gallon for gas." Well, here, here, here's here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. I just think in a time when food prices are very high, I mean, yeah. people are having a hard time feeding their families. Mm -hmm. To then raise something like Disney Plus two dollars, because and that's not a lot, you know, but it's it's enough that it makes me mad, 
All right. In other words, well, my Disney Plus uh, with Hulu Plus together, which was I think seventy five bucks a month, has now gone up to uh, eighty two. Now you know, come on, people have to eat food before they want to watch Disney. All Don't right. Cancel it. Get it back. No, but no, what I'm saying is. I'm not going to cancel it because we use okay. it. But the point is, that I, if I can find a way to cancel it, I am. I'm canceling my uh, my cable service well, because we because we put in this uh, we put in this Hulu Plus, which I get also the Disney I bundle. And I got to tell you, in a month we haven't turned on our cable boxes. There you go. We haven't gone right. to the cable boxes at all, so we have no reason to continue with it. And what we're well, going to save, what I'm going to save is. Uh, it's like going to be about 92 now with, uh, because I also have to subscribe to get all the house, an infinite number of boxes because Marjorie wants it in the bedroom and in the living room. She has them on all over the place. So I, you know, the, the basic plan only lets you have two sets on at the same time. Um, so I got to do that. But with, even with that, it's 92 bucks a month. Okay. And my cable is 226. Well, I'm still gonna have to pay a hundred for the uh, for the cable for the internet. All right. So really, uh, I'm saving. You say, well, you're only saving. Let's see here. Uh, 26 and and eight is how much? 32, 33 dollars. But then there's one other factor. Do you know that each one of the cable boxes you have in your house you're renting it uses eight dollars worth of electricity a month oh, you ever really? felt the top of those things they, yeah, they're, they're hot. hot they're really hot and the hotter those things are the more electricity they're using here i'm just going to use a roku box to pick it all up and that doesn't eat much electricity at all yeah. so i mean i'm going to not only be saving that money but i'm going to be saving them uh, the, you know so i'm going to wind up saving a lot of money by not having uh having the uh, yeah, I'm internet. your coffee maker think how much you'll save didn't you say um um uh, kevin <clears throat> that you have uh you don't you you cut the cord a long time ago didn't you say that no wasn't I you cut the cord five years ago yeah what do you it was it was damien that helped me understand cutting the cord, and I did it, it probably at least five years I'm ago. I'm probably five years too late on this deal. I yeah. haven't had I cable found... in many years. <clears throat> yeah, what, what do you use, uh, Charlie? YouTube TV. I, 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 I've been having it for the last couple of weeks as a test to see, and I do like it as much as Hulu TV. The only difference is I'm saving 20 bucks on the Disney Bundle package. Okay, so uh, that's what I'm getting. But I do, I don't, it's pretty good. YouTube TV is fine, you know, but uh, uh, I, Hulu TV is terrific too. Now, which one do you have, uh, Ray? What are you using? I, I don't have any, I, I use an antenna for local channels. Oh. Uh, so I don't have any of that. I just have Netflix and uh, Amazon and uh, HBO and a couple others. You have one of those digital antennas, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only yeah. get two channels with the digital antenna. I tried it. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody I else? I get most of them. Yeah, well, I'm... MSNBC, I... who's the other one, Phil? No, it was a local Concord thing, and oh, okay. there were channels that I never heard of or, uh, or watched before. Well, we, well, we just that. found that in... I mentioned to Marjorie tonight. I said, you know, all this month, we've never turned on the cable box. Mm. Wow. Or we, we, it's been on, it's been on, it's been eating up electricity, but it's not... I, we don't. We haven't watched anything on it. I said, it's time for us to just get rid of it. We'll hold on to my high-speed internet, you know, which mm -hmm. is uh, 99 bucks a month. Uh, and uh, and I need it because of stuff I move back and forth over the web, like this program, for instance. I need the best possible throughput that I can get. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I want to pay 129, I could even get two gigs. Yeah. You know, but I don't need that, so I'm uh, not getting it. But. So I have a question about this. If, if I, I I still have the cable, so if I got YouTube uh, TV, I could cut the cable and I could watch. 
I like watching CNN before I yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, I want to see you. I can't see you. You get them all. You need, you, them all. you need like a Fire Stick or Roku to be nope. able. To, and if nope. you if you go if you go with Hulu TV, which is a little more than YouTube TV, you get uh, you get the whole Disney bundle. You get Disney, oh, you wow. get ESPN, and you get Hulu. Can I get CNN on Hulu? Yes. On, yeah. Hulu, on Hulu Plus, TV, yeah, TV Get Plus, that on YouTube also, I, uh, on MSNBC, YouTube yeah. most everything actually. Really, I'm going to check into that on on YouTube TV. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you get them all. But I don't watch sports. I I was just looking. Uh, Amazon's laying off. Disney's mm -hmm. laying off. Jewel yeah. is laying off. Barclays Bank, Redfin. Uh, Who's Facebook. Jewel? Uh, jewels, those things you smoke. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Well, they oh, they're they're oh, laying oh, off people because yeah. they, they they nobody's buying those things anymore. Yeah, well, the government is yeah. is legislating against it. Salesforce is uh, uh, cutting a thousand jobs on Monday. Zendesk, uh, Lyft, Stripe. I never heard of them. Um, Stripe. Stripe uh, is who open they door. pay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't understand oh, how you fire pillow. somebody at Lyft. I mean, at the offices, I guess. Seagate. You take their sticker away. No, but the thing is, the thing is that you My wouldn't want to fire, you wouldn't want to stop hiring drivers because you can have as many drivers as are, as, as you can. You know, yeah. you don't want to fire drivers. I think it's probably office staff. Office, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, how much office staff can they have? It's just a, a, a an app. Isn't well, it? I mean, they have a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I, I've called them and I had to deal with something, and they were there and they answered fast, which was fine, you know. Well, now they're not going to answer so fast. <laughs> Today yeah. I just bought my uh, my what fifth GoPro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do with the other four? Nothing. Huh. I just like having cameras. Yeah, you know, I video know. cameras, and they are very good. And the new uh, one, the reason I got the new one is they report that they, there are absolutely no problems with it. It never, it never. It, the old ones used to like jam, that's jam a sucker. What? You're such a sucker. I know. Oh, if, if Phil rides right up there, he's ordered a new uh, monitor. That's like four. That's a Hero Four Black. That's yeah, four. yeah. Oh, that thing. <laughs> that, that you got about it's three. Antique. You got three minutes out of a battery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, I got the uh, the I got monitor one. on the back. Yeah, oh, I got I got one of those too. Yeah. What, what, you, what I, I'd go right behind here and go bring out all the four one four that I have already. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what this. I, is. I have like every other year. Oh, look at Brian. He's got a ton of them. Yeah. This yeah, one. I love went, this thing. This one went in the water in <laughs> Vietnam, so you can use it, but you can't view anything from it. It still works, but. It's it's supposedly, oh, it's supposedly waterproof. It's supposed yeah, mine has a case. Yeah, this one's waterproof. I bought this one right after you bought yours, Alex. Oh, all right. Okay. But supposedly the new one, uh, it it never it never freezes up. Never It works perfectly, you know? I never froze up. What model is it called? The, the nines froze up. The one that I had, they froze up. Oh, really? Up. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So yours uh, is a 10, Alex? Yeah. And I was supposed to get a free battery with it, and I forgot to do it right, so I then called up GoPro, and it took me a half hour to mm -hmm. get them to send me a free battery that only costs, you know, like twenty dollars. The <laughs> batteries wear out fast, huh? No, not the not the new ones. The new ones oh. go quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know what I have here. Hmm. I have a clamp that hooks to my underwater enclosure, so when I'm taking stills, I I have that running. I have a clamp that sticks to my butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have a 10 black, it says. Yeah, well, uh, you have a 10 black. I'm going to get the what 11. What do you, what do you, uh, so does Charlie. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and, and he was seen it up close. And he, yeah, and he, he didn't have to pay for it. So listen, this has been a really nice <laughs> night. Where, yeah. where did Brian mm -hmm. go? Oh, who left us? Kevin. 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 Oh, I guess. Kevin Brian. I guess he's in a rush to get out of here. Uh, let me see. Well, thanks to Kevin. I love having Kevin around here. Uh, uh, thanks to uh, you, uh, um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> Phil. You got to look at the screen. I took that nice pill last night, and so I, you know, mm. I freeze up. Uh, hey, Alan, thank you. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. You know. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, uh, and 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 of course, Charlie. 
you know, and what, what I, I have potential. Yeah. And that's uh, that was a joke. There is another physics joke, which we'll have you yeah. explain it some other time. I, I have potential. I'll figure it out. Anyway, Jeff, <laughs> thank you. Thank you also. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Tony. And thanks to Ray and thanks to uh, uh, thanks to uh, Brian. Uh, listen, this is a really nice night. Thanks to everybody. Everybody wave goodbye and I'll wave goodbye at you because I can. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our that's our citizen panel for tonight. There'll be another one getting together next with Jack Bishop on the in intersection or the infection. I don't know what the name of the show is. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, good night, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>